Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip. I wanted to show you um, how to convert a picture to a PDF quick, nice and easily uh, using your iPad. This person uh, called me up and needed some sheets of music, um, emailed to her, and of course I could send it to her as a picture like this, but I thought it would be really nice to uh, send her a, a PDF file. That way when she opens it up, it comes up all together. She can print it all together. So the best way to do that, um, this is this is all coming from uh, my photo uh, app. And I use an app here called Cam Scanner. I love this app. Uh, it saves all the scans online so I can actually use it on my uh, iPad or if I need if I don't have access to it from my iPad I can also use it on my computer or I can have access to my scans using my Android phone as a matter of fact since my Android phone has a better camera than my iPad I actually take the scans using my um, phone and then be, I'm able to read the scores using my iPad so if you already have the pictures taken or if you did a screen capture like I did using my iPad, to convert it to um, PDF is clearly quite simple. What you do is you say plus right up here, and you say from album, and of course you can go right here to all of your photos. Okay, so it was a little difficult to see which pictures I was going to pick because it's kind of small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count backwards. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's for thinking out loud. So let's go ahead and open CS, open the camera roll, and uh, unselect all of these. Oops. And go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. We say done. It imports those five together, and you can see that it's all five here. Now, the only bad thing is that. It tries to it tries to find out where the cutoff is. So, for example, if I click on this first one here, you see that it cut off everything. All you have to do is click re-edit and say entire picture, and you're all set. And if you wanted to cut off this little strip, to make, you know, so that it didn't look like it's from the iPad, of course you can just cut that off just like that and say next step. You can go to the original. You can say magic color. But that, um, in this particular case, it doesn't really do a good job of clarifying. So I just say original because since it was a screen capture, it's not bad. And then I say next step. And there we have it. Then we say, oops, let me go back here. I didn't mean to say re-edit. So we go back. And there's our first page. Here's our second one. We're going to do the same thing. All of it. Push down that top bar, say next step, and say done. Then we go to the next one, re edit all of it, bring down this, done. Next, re edit all of it, done. Re-edit, all of it, next step, done. Now you might be saying, um, yeah, but when you scan them, you scan them backwards. So that's really easy, you just click and drag. So here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, oops, and there's five. So now we have it all um, scanned up. All you have to do is click on it once. Click the little mail icon here. Do I want to send it as a JPEG file? Well, the whole purpose of this video is to not do that. Or do you want it as a document link? Or do you want it as a PDF file? And I want it as a PDF file. It goes ahead and it parses it together and it makes the PDF file. Now you see how it says new doc2? Let's cancel this and name it instead of new doc 2 you're going to click on it once 
and we're going to name it Thinking Out Loud. There you go. Now when I send it, it sends it as Thinking Out Loud PDF and we're all set to send our email. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to click to subscribe. That way, if you want any more iOS updates like this or any more quick tips, you can get them in your email. Thank you very much.